Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. Oh, it's true. Real estate is super competitive and harder than you expected. That's why I created Lee Brown University. It's everything you need to take you from point A to point whatever your goal is. You could be new to the business or a seasoned vet. I'll help you break through to the next level so that your professional life can look exactly like you desire. Enroll in Lee Brown University today. I'll help you get there. How do we help our 70 year olds not get to 70 and feel lost and how do we help our younger generation make better decisions now in in the, in the social media world yeah go ahead stephanie well i was gonna say i mean just like you said um you know it's about the education and so it is a social media world however we are we are finding and are surprised that more of the older generation, uh, they're taking to social media to find things out. Uh, they're all over Facebook. So they might not be the Instagram and the TikTokers, but they're definitely on Facebook. So we want to make sure that we have a platform that is, uh, you know, based on social media. And of course, when we are able to reach out to the community and visit somewhere in person and we have not had a chance to really do that due to the pandemic but uh, we do have plans to go out into the community we have plans to continue with our uh, virtual platform so we do have some zoom uh, events that are set up for the rest of this year as well Mm -hmm. so, so do you see the opportunity as going into high schools and meeting with students or is it going to the church communities and what, where do you think there's the best inroads to reach people in a place where they're willing to hear what you say? Because we all know that's part of the challenge is some people are receptive to growth and improvement and some folks are not and takes them a minute to get over here. So y'all thinking of a specific audience? I think it's definitely all high are. schools. Yeah, definitely high schools and churches. Uh, mm -hmm. We are we have already partnered with uh, some churches and um, I've been able to teach some financial literacy classes inside the high schools. So for me, um, I definitely think that trying to reach even the Gen Z's uh, will help them to not be that 70 year old. Mm -hmm. And I think it's even important to mention that it just can't just be Stephanie, myself and Donnell. That's why we have ambassadors, because we're this is something that we want to do across the United States. So it's going to take more than just the three of us to get the message across. Um, so, you know, uh, specific realtors that are interested or realtors that are interested in becoming you know, ambassadors, it's important for them, you know, too. Um, to spread the word. People that have the same objective and mission um, and they understand the vision, able to cast it properly in order for us to get the mes message across so we can reach more people. I love that. And I love that you're using one of my favorite words of vision casting because it's the best <laughs> visual ever. All right. So let's, let's break it back down because we kind of went big picture really quickly because I'm very excited about what y'all are doing, which is why Donnell and I are both like, Woo! we were talking about this in <laughs> November of 2019. But when we're talking to people about house, then the car, the whole premise, by the way, friends, if you haven't looked up this podcast yet, all of the links are in the show notes for this episode. So you can go link and listen, subscribe and, and go get excited too, is to help people think about the, the future financial stability that comes from owning property, whether that's dirt, a house, a condo, a townhouse, a commercial building, any kind of real property. So when you guys are communicating with realtors who sometimes, and we love our people, realtors and realtists alike, and then even real estate licensees who aren't attached to either of the organizations, they get a little bit immediate minded and they're looking for the somebody they can help today because they got to get their bills paid too. So I'm not casting judgment, but the real estate business can be very today focused. What you're working on is tomorrow focused, next decade focused, 50 years from now focused. What's the best tip that you're giving 
the people in the real estate professional space to help them become an ambassador in their own right to reach people with this message? Uh, I would say for us, um, we are not only just focused on the future, but we do have some resources. So our resources for today can be found at housedinthecar.com. So on our page, we do have resources such as the FICO score estimator, uh, those things people can enter their scenarios to find out what, what is the best credit score that will help them to obtain a house. We also have our budgeting tools. We have an interactive budget. So of course, you need to know how much money that you need to have. And so this can um, help you today with your budget. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate with Lee Brown.